hey y'all so this is a custom unit that i made um out of six month three bundles these bundles are from Ulyssa hair um i will make sure to put the link in the description box and this is body wave hair it, i have two and a half bundles and i have a frontal see it's really nice frontal i might have to pluck it a little bit more but you know that's not going to be an issue but yeah this is little this hair and i am about to color this hair i'm trying to do a, like an ombre blue color um yeah so i have never done this this color method before and well i i did the watercolor method but i've never tried to ombre the hair but this is the hair and um yeah it's really nice and uh you know just watch me work i hope you guys enjoy this video hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm using a door hair color as always in the color aquamarine and another one in jet black um for the ombre for the top part i want it to be like a dark blue color so i'm putting the black and the blue together so of course it can make a darker blue and then in the separate pot that's on the stove i'm going to put two um bottles of aquamarine um so that the end of the hair can be lighter than the root of the hair So I turned the wig cap inside out because I don't want it. Um, you know, I don't want to mess nothing up and 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 get the the this color on the end of the hair. I wanted to get all over the root of the hair, so you know it can be that pretty blue ombre. So I'm just gonna dip that in there. I think that I left that in there for like five minutes, and I was using my little knife that I have, and I was just making sure all of the strands, you know, got the blue on it. So I didn't wash that out. I actually just let the hair color sit on there. Um, but I'm just dipping the ends in the pure blue color. And I'm gonna use my knife once again to make sure all of the strands um, are evenly distributed throughout the water. This this method with the wig, just dipping the, the whole wig in the water is actually better because um, the the bundles are loose and they're not together when you just dip the bundle in the water if your bundle isn't um taken apart then all of your strands are going to be coated and you're still going to have you know blonde strands that you want it to be colored but right here i'm just rinsing off the hair with just um cool water and i'm going in with my aussie shampoo and i'm just you know getting all the excess hair color off So I ended up washing it twice, but I took one part out because, you know, the video was already super long. But I'm putting it on my foam head. Right now I'm going to make sure it's pinned down really good so it doesn't move while I'm doing the blow drying process. I'm going to do it in sections because I find it easier for me to blow dry the hair faster when I do it in sections. So yeah, I'm going to uh, take my wide tooth comb and... I'm gonna comb it out and make sure because I don't want to just go in to blow drying with bundles that haven't been you know combed out because that can cause a lot of breakage so I'm taking my wide tooth comb and I'm just combing out the hair 
to make sure I'll get all the kinks and naps and everything. So you guys, I'm going to leave the link um, to this hair in the description box so you guys can um, go get some of this hair yourself. Um, I had a lot of questions last time when I did my red uh, bob wig that I had made. And a lot of you guys was loving the hair. So this is the hair again. Um, I'm going to leave all the links and everything in the description box. And here goes the final look. The ombre actually turned out better than I expected because I never did that before. But um, <laughs> yeah, um, I have a video coming on styling this hair and installing it and everything. So if you guys would like to see that video, don't forget to um, like this video, comment on this video, and subscribe. And turn on your post notifications so you don't miss the video. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.